Hey, have you guys ever heard of Pal World? You probably haven't. It's kind of underground. It's a small little indie game. It's pretty popular. Um, and as popular as it is, it is also probably equally as controversial. And for everyone that loves this game, there's someone that wants every copy of the game to explode on impact and just self combust. So uh, I want to dive into that and I want to feed the flames of fire. <laughs> I want to make a tier list today, okay? of all the pals, of all the Palkamon, and we're gonna rank them based on how much they're based on Pokemon or how much they plagiarized Pokemon or some of them are just badass and awesome because I think there's like a big range in this game. I kinda wanna break down all these guys, give my opinion, cause it's the internet and you always have to give your opinion on the internet, it's the law. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna start out with, uh, with Lamball. A lot of people think this guy's like Wooloo, but I don't think like, a round sheep is that original um and his like eyes and horn and and little like gem on his chest is completely different so i'm putting him in good i think he's i think he's pretty good i think he's fine now we come down to what's this guy kativa Tova Katava catastrophe. That's kind of funny. This guy, I don't like him as a pal. I don't. I don't know if he's like a ripoff of a Pokemon. I mean, he's definitely got some pieces. He's kind of got those like jowl spikes and maybe like Gen Four style eyes. I think he's fine. I think he's kind of like whatever. Then we got uh, what is he? Chickapea. This guy's goaded. This guy's awesome. This guy does not look like a Pokemon. He looks like a Harvest Moon chicken or like a Zelda chicken. He's weird. He's stupid. He's he's badass. Uh, I'm like totally I'm like totally fine with him. Then we got Lifmonk. Lifmonk looks pretty Pokemon e. I don't think there's really like anything specifically that I could point to. I don't know. He's different enough, but he's he looks like a Pokemon. He looks a lot like a Pokemon. Fox Sparks. Fox farts, fart is fi Firefox. Fox parts, I think, is fine. You know, you got Volpix, you got whatever. We we've had these like fire little dudes, these quadruped little guys. This one's got like the fire on his like paws, which is really good, and his tail is so like huge, um, with that like puff of fire. That I think it's actually it's pretty original, but I think it does look kind of Pokemon esque. Flack, fuck. I'm putting him in good, uh, because it's he's weird i don't i don't like him like he's not gonna be on my team he's not going on adventures with me but he's clearly different then we've got the, the pikachu <laughs> we got the Pikachu. so this is where like this is where i'm divided okay because like this guy's clearly oh so clearly a pokemon stand-in but he's so different like he's clearly not pikachu um but he's got that tail he's got the pikachu tail then we got what is this tansy tansy's fine i think tansy's fine i don't i don't mind tansy we do got the the leaf monkey right but this is so overwhelmingly different i mean his face looks more like a super monkey ball monkey than like a pokemon right ruby ruby is you know a lot of people are like oh well ponyta ponyta exists dude and the reason i'm putting him in good this is probably gonna be one of my most controversial the reason i'm putting him in good is because i don't think he's a deer at all his ears are huge his tail's huge and he has the bow tie he has like the total different like color gradient on him he sure he has like the deer like pattern like the doe kind of young deer splotches but he's not a deer i don't think <laughs> but he's like a, he's like a, a more sinister middle thing he's got the flame poof though i do see that but i think i think he's different enough i think he's fine i'm cool with them oh oh we got a goat oh goat spotted goat spotted we got pangle it pangle it the goat oh what about Piplup? What about Piplup? Shut your bitch ass up! That thing doesn't look like Piplup at all. Different eyes, different fluff, different little gem. He is different. You know why it's a different gem? Because he's a gem. Pangolin's goaded. You can make him into an explosive device. This guy's awesome. Not only is he in my team, and I'm a sucker for penguins, but this guy looks nothing like Piplup. He looks closer to the Mario 64 penguin. Oh! Oh! Oh, go spotted! Oh, what's that? Is that a goat? Is that the second goat in a row? That's a goat. Again, hanking, goated. This guy and people, oh my God, crazy people with brains dripping out of their ears going, well, what about Empoleon? What about Empoleon? They look nothing alike. This guy's like a ship's captain or like a, or like a little emperor kind of got the little like old style puffiness to him. That old jacket, like, oh, like he'd grab his lapels and be like, well, this is my continent. And he'd be, he'd be he'd probably be a colonist. Colonial, the colonialist. Huh? Jolt hog, Jolt hog. 
Ugh. He sucks. I don't want to give him like points. I think he's fine. He's whatever. I don't I I don't think he's like a plagiarism filled guy. I just think he's like kind of boring. Oh, oh, Gumoss. Gumoss is good. Little slimy boy. Some people are probably going to point to Ditto because he's got the dot eyes and he's a little slime guy. But I think like the tongue sticking out, his color, the little like chestnut hat looking thing. I think that sets him apart a lot. I think this guy could look like a slime in a bunch of RPGs like a uh, Dragon Quest. The Vizzy? Vixie? Something like that? Eh. Uh, I'm putting it in like, uh, cause it's kind of Eevee and there's, there's, there's a bad one coming up. Okay. So before you guys are like, what the hell? This guy, this guy, this guy thinks Power World is the best Pokemon game ever made. There's going to be ones that go into the call the cops tier and they're coming up soon. Okay. We got Hookrates. Um, Hookrates is great. This guy's original. He looks pissed. He is dramatic. Uh, no S tier, triple S tier. This guy is awesome. Oh my God. He fat. Come on, dude. Really, for originality, he could probably go in triple S, but he's not. No, no, he's so original. He's so original. A little, a little elephant teapot with the, that, that really nice color, like contrast of the blue on that cream. I mean, he's, that is a solid design. You know, yeah, yeah, he goes in triple S. That is a good design. We've got Depresso. Depresso's funny. Um, It's a lot like the psychic cat. Uh, it's crazy that I'm remembering the pal names, not the Pokemon <laughs> names. Uh, get the one that has like the existential dread. The one that's like, the, that one, that it's a lot like that one. Oh, call the cops, call the cops. This one's a crime. Uh-oh, you did a felony. Uh-oh, we gotcha. This one's bad. That's just Gigantamax Eevee. That one's real bad. That's like one of the worst offenders. What is this, uh, Daydream? Daydream is good. Daydream's a solid, solid design. There's definitely been those floaty, kind of wispy, like ethereal type guys in Pokemon before. We got the boar. <laughs> the boar is kind of a boar. It's fine. It's whatever. This thing definitely is playing the Eevee role again. That one's definitely... It's not as bad. I can see it. I can see it. it's got the little cape, which I appreciate. So maybe it goes up to uh, Budler. Budler's a funny little guy. I just call him Fundler because he's fun. I th he's fine. He's good. He's good. He does not look like a Pokemon whatsoever. Kilimari definitely has got some tentacool vibes, but it's got the hat. It's got different colors, different eyes. You know, it, it makes it. Uh, it's fine. Mao? Mao? Uh, it's the sound this cat makes when you pick it up. Meow. It's Umbreon inspired, but it's like Egyptian Umbreon. It's like a Anubis, a pre-Anubis. By the way, uh, this game is not going to beat the allegations of they, they weren't planning on having evolutions because there's so many pal, come on, that clearly were supposed to evolve like like the blue penguins and stuff like that. And they were just like, well, I don't know about that. And they just don't. They just don't. Um, we've got Calaray. Uh, this one's kind of Pokemon-y, but you know, we got Manta Ray, stuff like that, and Mantine and all those little guys. Uh, it's, I don't I don't know. Uh Dire Wolf is boring. I mean, and Dire Wolf, I know had was Dire Wolf the one with the problem with the like how close the models were together? If it is, I'm sorry. Maybe that one should be in Call the Cops, but uh, as of now, I should probably go in probably like, uh, uh. we got like, uh, was it Toko Toko? Poco, Poco Loco Toko bird. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, look at him walk. He's so cool, dude. This guy's whatever. He's got the color gambit or the color palette. I mean, color gambit. The, the what now? He's got the color palette of like, uh, Zatu and Natu and stuff, but he's so different. His model is, he's more stupid. He, he waddles around. Um, I think he's fine. I don't even know what the hell this thing is. This is some kind of demon. Uh, and if I don't know what the hell it is, it's probably not gonna st steal anything from Pokemon because it looks not even like it belongs in the game. We got Mozzarina. We got the cow. We got the fat cow. I love this thing. I do love him, but his face is Snorlax. His face is Snorlax. You know what? It could go in. Uh, cause listen, I love it. I love it. I get it. It definitely does have Snorlax face. <laughs> oh God. All the plant Pokemon things that there's so many like seed, flower, leaf Pokemon. They all melt in my brain. And this looks like a lot of them. So it's it's like barely all right. Then we got Gobfin. Gobfin design wise is so good. This guy looks like no Pokemon I can think of. He looks, I don't know. It could be a Digimon at this point, if I'm being honest. Those eyes are so good. The colors are striking. The hands with the shark head, good. This guy rules. Great design. More of these, please. Hang you. We got hang you, which is 
he's funny because he's a noose and there was uh some tweets and some some allegations or supposed things that this was stolen from a fake amon artist and the, the, the similarities are very close so i'm putting in call the cops moss masanda masanda uh is cool masanda's cool with me it's just a plant panda with big eyes that looks like it's gonna crush you and it's like terrified to be here the the creature the one uh, this one's a creature uh it's fine it doesn't it's it's like whatever um it's good you know i i think it's pretty original uh we got what is it cap tree Cap uh, capri sun very different uh it's a like a goat with a <laughs> with a berry bush on its back we've got the big sheep alpaca wearing the the kind of the kind of cool little socks maybe give it some speed some aerodynamicity it's fine i think it's it's fine i mean i can't think of a single pokemon we got like new Mareep and and the one that goes into and that's a that's a pink sheep thing but it's it's nowhere near this we got the deer death Definitely looks like the legendary deer. I mean, the colors are whatever. I know it's different, but I think this design is so like, wow, it looks like the, the legendary guy. This thing reminds me way too much of Xerneas. I think, I think it could go in ah uh, or barely okay, but this thing, I mean, it's the vibe of it, right? Uh, we got a bird, we got a bird. There's, it's, it's a bird. It's whatever. It's a bird. It's a bird. This thing, it definitely looks like a Pokemon. Uh, I don't remember its name. Um, but it definitely looks like a Pokemon. I couldn't, I couldn't like strike a single thing that's meant to be like taking from, but it, I mean that I could mistake that for a Pokemon. Incineram. Uh, the name is like Incineroar and it is standing up on two legs and it is like a combat fire mammal. So, uh, we got Cinemoth. This guy's fine. It looks kind of, uh, like a few of the bug Pokemon. It's fine. It's whatever. Our socks. This guy is fat and chubby and I like him. And he's got the little, he's just like a poof of fire. Um, again with this one, I saw that there was art very much like this in the fake Amon community. It was, that one was different enough to me that I'm like, okay, this one, if that happened, it's worrying, but it wasn't very like one-to-one. -one. So this one's like barely okay to me. If this was stolen from the fake Amon community, I'm totally fine with putting in the call the cops. We got Dumud. Dumud's good. I think he's good. The reason, the only reason he's not in triple S pals, because I, I love him as a pal, but you can see like his eyes. He's got like the, the, the Sobble fin and he's got the eyes of many Pokemon. Like, he's kind of like a dugong looking thing. I'm uh, not dugong. He's like a slow poke. He's like a slow poke. He's like a homunculus of a lot of Pokemon, but I think all of his parts turns him into something original. So actually, you know what? You know what? I think he's actually fine. I think he does look a lot like a Pokemon, but I think he is so many ideas in one that he is original enough. Oh, oh, peak. Oh, peak. Peek with the beak. We got Cognito in the house. He's so good. A little plague doctor, buzzard, a little cloak. His lore is that like he used to fly around, but they lost like a, a war with one of the other birds in Pal World. And now he roams the earth forever cringe. <laughs> this guy is awesome. This guy is one of the best designs in the entire game. He's original. He's fun. He's great. Liz Punk. Liz Punk. I don't know why his image is so small. He's a hoodie wearing lizard. He's, he's completely fine. Loop Moon. Wear Demon creature a little thing uh fine this guy gale claw this might be the bird i was referencing with uh with cognito of the one that they they lost a fight with this guy got bodied by this 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 blue bird he's also like t posing right now he's like Wah! he's like t posing he's good i think he's i think he's better than this bird down here because this one kind of has the colors of like skarmory we got this thing call the cops this thing looks like a lot. Like everyone says this looks like uh, Decidueye, but I think it, it has like a Gallade vibe that not many people have said. So it looks like Gallade and Decidueye had a baby. This thing looks like a Pokemon. Call the cops. This guy, this, um, I think he's called like a rat or something. He's called like a gory rat or something. I don't know. His name is scary. He's fine. I, I'm never going to have him on my team. I think he's kind of boring. Oh, watch this. You ever seen a peak combo before? You ever seen this? Oh, B guard. Oh, Elizabeth. The double peekening. Oh no, they they thought it wouldn't happen. These two are so cool. These two are so good, man. We've got this like royal B guard, with, like the frill, and then you've got like the Queen Elizabeth inspired 
like queen bee and it holds like a giant like staff so original so awesome such a cohesive design it is a clean design it's a unique and it's an inspired design and their effect in the game is awesome they have like this team effect where depending on how many B guards you have, they all get stronger. And then your Elizabeth bee gets stronger depending on how many B guards you have. So if you have a team of like one Elizabeth bee and, and four B guards, you have this like unit, this, this military unit, this royal unit that gets super strong and your queen is emboldened by all of like her little bee servants. So good, insanely, insanely inspired. Grintail, uh, this thing's like barely okay. It's definitely Cheshire Cat inspired. I understand, but it's like the face is so like some ghost Pokemon. Eh, it's like barely okay. This thing looks, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I, I think you could use a rework. We got sweet and we got sweet. So good, so simple. They're like a little mop head cat, like a Roomba cat with just tiny dot eyes and a little mustache. And again, they're not gonna be the allegations that they weren't meant to evolve into each other. Like what? They're like, oh, well, they, they just coexist. They just do. No way. No way. These guys were meant. Sui was totally meant to evolve into a sweeper. I guarantee you, I'm telling you, in an update, they're going to make evolutions a thing. And that's obviously going to be an evolution. Chillette. Chillette's good. Chillette's totally good. Just a d giant ice salamander. The lightning horse uh, looks like an amalgamation of a few, a few mons, but it's fine. Ooh, we got Foxical. Boxical looks a lot like uh, the Ice Nine Tails. If I'm being totally honest with you, that's it's like it's like barely skating by. This guy, I forgot his name. Super Fire Horse. This guy looks fucking crazy. He's like Rapidash on steroids. Uh, yeah, he looks fine. He's like no design I can think of. Uh, the reindeer, the little ice reindeer. Um, I think this is also a good design. It's another, you know, the trope of the deer with the giant antlers. Uh, when last time it looked definitely like the x and y legendary this looks completely different you got this thing where the head of it definitely looks like lucario or a few other pokemon the head's definitely definitely similar it's got like kind of the pikachu tail vibe this one definitely looks like a pokemon it's a lot of pieces together so it's a, it's an amalgamation a little homunculi kitsune this one's super good kind of reminds me of okami it's just got that like flame flame little neck thing going on i think this is super original i think it's super fun i think it's super inspired the colors really pop out like that like deep deep cyan dazzy dazzy uh dazzy's like whatever uh definitely looks like uh cast form to a degree like kind of got like a weathery vibe it also looks like the legendaries kind of from black and white it's, it's definitely like got that that whole like sphere of ideas together but it's whatever i think it's it's a sum of its parts. We got ew, ew, ew. This thing looks a lot. It's, like it's totally supposed to be like kind of a Mewtwo, uh, kind of Echo from Overwatch. I'm not vibing with it too much. Yeah, there was also that old file in that that someone discovered where one of their pals that they ended up not putting in the game still had the source file, like the reference photo of uh, Mewtwo. And so I'm assuming that ended up becoming this because this is a lot more different. This is this is very close. This is very close. Dinosum. Dinosum is dying awesome, but it definitely is like Meganium. Dragonite had a baby. Uh, so... This one's this one's stupid. Uh, this one's like a creature. Uh, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't think it looks like a Pokemon. But I don't think it looks like a friend either. This thing, if you want to talk about things that don't look like a friend. This thing, uh, Merith, Meredith, Michael, whatever his name is, this thing is a demon. This thing's a de it's good because it looks not like a Pokemon at all. I'd even argue it kind of doesn't look like a pal. It's it's spooky, but that's good, you know, if it doesn't jump out. We got Dig Toys. Oh, we got Dig Toys. Dig Toys is good. Um, definitely Blast Toys inspired. Well, honestly, it's Bowser inspired. I think he's really good. I mean, I could actually, I could be pushed to put him in Triple S, but I think just for the fact that his name is Dig Toys and the Blast Toys exists, and he's kind of got a Bowser thing going on where he goes into his shell and destroys the ore. I don't think he's insanely unique, but I think he is a very good design. I think he's good. I think he, he belongs in Power World. Tombat, Tombat again is totally original. I don't think he looks like a pal. This guy like is so different. He looks like he'd be from some a YouTube pilot animation from like 2027. He looks great. 
You know, he's got this like kind of magician vibe, this cloak going on, and his kind of like ghost essence is, is, is floating around him. I think he's good. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Ew. I don't want to think about this one. I don't even want to think about this one, dude. I'm so freaking grossed out. This one's so meant to, to bite the flow of the, the bigger salazzle. Listen, I know Japan and Pokemon over there, sometimes they let their horniness like seep into their game. You know, they gave like Lopunny ripped thigh high leggings. I didn't, I didn't want to talk about that. So, you know, I get that, you know, Pal World's like, well, well we gotta get something in. And it's a little tongue in cheek. This is number 69 on the pal decks. Ha 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 So funny. It's fine. I don't want to call this one fine, if I'm being honest, because, you know, I mean, I mean, damn, she's fine. <laughs> you got Flambell. Flambell's fine. Flambell's good. You know, it's just a drippy fire candle, little, little pal. Like that, that's whatever. Van Worm. Van Worm, like, really has a head that looks Charizard-esque. I get it's kind of like a dragon buzzard kind of thing it's not really the same vibe as charizard but it definitely looks like a pokemon so uh, bushi totally original totally cool and it's just a samurai it's just a samurai it's just a, it's just a man we've got uh beacon um this guy's got some zapdos energy uh but you know clearly he's not like made of thunder this guy's more of just a colored bird um, and I think he's, I think he's fine. And we've got like the, his kind of, his little scorchy cousin, Ragnarok. He's fine. Uh, totally fine. I mean, I mean, I definitely think you can make the argument like there's a Zapdos and there's a Moltres type thing going on there, but it's so different in design. We got Wixen. Oh, go to the cops. Go, go. You're stolen. You're a stolen Fakemon. You, th that is like exactly a Fakemon. That one is, that one is so, oh, put the cuffs on him. Put the cuffs on him. That one, that one's, that one's bad. And just, just, just to make him feel worse, I'm putting the sister there too. I don't, they, I don't know. They're like palette swaps. Oh, three, call the cops in a row. This is maybe one of the worst offenders like ever. Dude, it's just a fire soccer fox. But they just like, oh, uh, just change the color of it slightly, dude. That's so shameless. That's so bad. Uh, we've got the flower bug. Uh, it looks stupid, but it's it's original because of how stupid it is. Uh, Sableix, Sableye. Um, that's a Pokemon. Uh, uh, something like that. It's fine. Um, I don't. Well, actually, I think it's good. Honestly, I think it's it's really original. If we're talking about, you know, them biting Pokemon uh, designs here. That's like no Pokemon I've ever seen. This guy, it's kind of like Dragonite and uh, Flygon, maybe. I feel like I'm reaching. I think it's fine. Uh, definitely looks like a Pokemon. Definitely looks like it could be multiple things. Uh, oh, this one, listen, it's Big Horsey. This one's Big Horsey. This one might go into Call the Cops. This one is just Horsey elongated and made a little wide. It's like it's like they skewed, they skewed Horsey horizontally. Oh! the cops this one's so bad this one's so bad dude this was one of the ones that like obviously went viral for like its hair mesh being so close this one is so uninspired this one is such a ripoff this one sucks so much dude cryolinks cryolinks is super original he's good he's cool with me cryolinks we can links up sometime you know he's cool blaze howl uh it's a creature it's definitely a creature i think it's fine i think this one also comes in variants and i bet you if you're wondering right now like why am i not rating the variants those designs you know they're they're more or less the same and i'm not gonna double the length of this video you know as much as other people and podcasts would make like a five hour video being like well here's my thoughts on nothing that matters for ad revenue i actually want to save you guys time and not rate things that look exactly the same oh Relax, Aris, dude. Oh, he's so good, dude. I know he's got like the dot eyes. I saw I saw someone say he looks like Quagsire, and I'm like, what? Like he's just he's just like a little dinosaur. He's he's literally like a he looks like a dollar store dinosaur figurine. That's what he looks like. And he's got the little dot eyes. And if like if Pokemon has a full like just monopoly on dot eyes, I guess we should call Adventure Time and me, and we we should lock me up too, cause I have my character has dot eyes, bruh. Bruh, flower source we got this one it's like it's 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 like bronta bronta cherry or something like that um it's whatever it's fine this one we got this one oh this one everyone's favorite everyone's favorite just kidding it's no one's favorite uh <laughs> yeah 
Eh, this one's ugly. This one's this one's kind of stupid. This one's kind of ugly. It's fine though, but it does look it looks kind of like a Pokemon. It's got heat ran vibes to him. Oh, King Packa? King Packa? Get up in there, boy! Oh, what was that? Actually demoted! This guy, I think, is actually insanely original. I think he's very fun, very good. Um, the reason I'm just ticking him down just a little bit out of that is because he does have the Empoleon head cow thing. So if it did, if it wasn't for that head thing, he'd be a lot higher because I think he really is fun and original. You could just you could have gotten rid of that, and you could have just done like a normal like tall cylindrical crown, and you would have been happy. You would have been good. Mammarist. This guy is awesome. Uh, he also comes in an ice variant, which is even cooler. Those stones become like big icicles. He's got the Torterra vibes, you know, and Torterra is cool, but this guy's like so insanely different. He's got the stone cuffs. He's got the Rockley leg weights on. This guy's awesome, and you can capture a boss-sized one and ride it. It's it's badass. Wumpo! Uh-oh, it's Wumpo. Definitely got the Studio Ghibli's Totoro vibes. Uh, <sighs> Uh, it's not a Pokemon though. If I'm judging this just on, uh, off of like Pokemon that's based off of, it'd be like in near triple S tier. But it's not that inspired. Ah, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. But I know there's, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it right now. This guy is just Pikachu Totoro, okay? So this guy's like barely making it. This guy's like barely okay, but he's like so clearly. Raichu Totoro had a little baby. This guy's cool. Warsect is cool. Clearly Agron body. He's got the Heracross thing too. He's like Heracross Agron. So I think he's fine. I think he's different enough. But man, actually, you know what? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm so biased for specifically this one. Agron is my favorite Pokemon. And this guy clearly is <laughs> some Agron-ness to him. We've got this guy. He looks like the... the the black and white legendary. I can't remember his name because he's stupid, but he looks a lot like him. He looks a lot like that guy. Pull him up. Cabalion. He looks, oh, he looks so much like Cabalion. Oh, I don't know. This guy might be a call the cops. This guy might, this, you know, I, oh. My mind's telling me no. My Pokemon is telling me yes. Felbat. Felbat's cool. Little vampire dude. Chilling. Wyvern. One of my favorites. Wyvern, I think, is awesome. Quivern's awesome. The wings are so cool. That like blue purple gradient of feathers on his face and the top. I mean, I think this design is. Mm. I don't know this one. This one's this one's kind of a demon. Um, and the fact that it looks like, oh my god, what is this thing? I what it, bro bro thought he was a part of the squad. I I have never seen this one. This one slept by this guy, uh, who they have a lot of like, I don't know why they made this like weird goth electric bird if they already had beacon and stuff. I'm gonna put him up in here because they look like they could be siblings. Oh my god, this guy's even more aggron than the last aggron. Oh, 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 that one, that, that one looks a lot like, that's Agron with wings, dude. Uh, then we got this guy, the Scorpion, uh, Menacing, which by the way, the name is on point. That is a, that is a triple S tier name, Menacing, Menacing. Ooh. Too bad his face, uh, looks like, uh, Giratina. You know what? I think it's finally time we dial 911 and call the cops because Anubis is just Lucario. Like, I like the Anubis vibe, you know? They obviously took Lucario and they were like, how can we spin it? How can we make it different? The, like, flavor of it is really good, obviously. He was meant to evolve from Mal, obviously. But, uh God, it's so bad. I mean, it's really just Lucario palette swap. Like, he's an Echo Fighter. Like, this guy's a genuine Echo Fighter. Jormantide, this guy is definitely got some Gyarados in him. He's also, he looks like a Digimon. He looks like, oh, oh. Search my Digimon banks in my head. Search it. Oh, search it in my brain. Oh, don't. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, get rid of that folder. Oh, that folder. Uh, uh yeah, delete, uh, d delete memories of my family. Yeah, search Digimon. Uh. Oh my god! Seedramon! Seedramon! How did I forget that stupid, stupid, stupid? Seedramon. He's kind of like a Seedramon Gyarados. I think he's fine. He's whatever. This guy looks like a bunch of shapes. This guy looks like, uh, they just, like, knocked down fridge magnets, and they were like, yep, that's a pal. That one's definitely a pal. Um, yeah, this one looks like a fractal. Uh, so I think it's fine. There's another rest up leaf plant thing. Uh, I think it kind of goes between these two. They kind of, like belong with each other they all they all look vaguely like seven other pokemon another bird 
<laughs> they all dude like all the birds are fine <laughs> but i mean they kind of look like pokemon this one's like i don't know it's kind of got the colors of like a luchador fighter it's like the colors actually is really good on this one but it's it's a bird we've got this thing uh it looks like 30 uh, ideas in one uh it's a lot of shapes it's a very chaotic design it doesn't look like any pokemon i've ever seen so it should honestly belong in good because it's so not like a pokemon but it's ugly <laughs> so i put it lower i don't know we've got another bird shadow beak shadow beak i know the name of this one um it's a creature for sure you want to you want to see your birdie pals you want to see your birdie pals bam bir the birds are whatever man we've got like i don't know the sword and shield eyes definitely meant to be like this legendary halkian dialga vibe that they had going on in arceus it's 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 meant to be a stand-in they look so different eh, i get what they're trying to do here i see it i i, I see it this guy's pretty cool uh, it definitely looks like in the face it looks like a pokemon for sure What's this guy? It's like, uh, uh, what's his name? Frostallion? I've seen this guy. I haven't captured him yet in a little prison sphere, but I've seen him and he was level like 50. I ran away. But I have seen him. But he, I mean, he looks like he could be a few Pokemon, but he's not. He's got the Pegasus vibes to him. And then we got just shapes. We've got Professor Shapes. <laughs> this guy's just kind of, oh, wait. Oh, his feet look like the dudes from Sky Scarlet and Violet. Oh, oh no, no. I don't know how I feel about that. That looks like a Scarlet and Violet dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, see, now I have all the other ones that are like the color swaps. And some of them have like slightly different models to them. Like this guy's got a little lightning on top of his head. But I'm not, I'm not going to waste your dang time. So let's, let's review. We've got a good chunk in Call the Cops. A decent chunk in like, ah. You know, we're not calling the cops, but hey, come a little closer. I'm calling somebody. We got uh, a pretty sizable chunk in like... Uh, <laughs> I see that these are meant to definitely be Pokemon stand-ins, but you, you got away with it. They look different. Then we got the fine ones. These guys, I think, fit a role of a Pokemon. Like, I think they're definitely inspired by pokemon no doubt and definitely with like uh the the muddy boy the little sloppy boy but they're different they're, they're totally different up then you got the good boys which i you know i think the biggest chunk here is like straight up pretty good designs or just overwhelmingly not pokemon some of these designs i don't even think is too good i think this guy is chaotic as hell he's cool but he's so chaotic and then you got the cream of the crop baby you got the good boys oh Oh, we got the penguins, the sweepas, the relaxasaurus, the quivers, the godfins. Oh, so good. So, so good. These guys, more of these. Pal World, if you're going to make more pals, please do things like this. This is so inspired. These are so unique. I feel like I'm in a different world rather than a Pokemon parody world. You know, you see there's a large chunk of good stuff. You know, a big chunk of kind of in the middle of like, eh, it's like a Pokemon parody. And then you got the real bad outliers here you got these ones that just stink it up for everyone i think these i think these are really rough i think you could probably change a lot of these many of these are just either straight up ripoffs call the cops are just straight up ripoffs and then the ones above them are like very nearly ripoffs or they have segments of them that are ripoffs like this guy's head and this guy's legs like just straight up one-to-one -one rips how world is really fun um but i feel like i'm doing an illegal drug every time I, I I taste the sweet the sweet sugar of power I think it's a really good game especially for an early access there's a lot of early access games that you do anything in and the whole thing crashes and explode and power world only crashed 37 times for me so I feel I feel pretty lucky as far as early access goes yeah um, I don't know how to end videos uh, comment down below um, what uh, legal arguments I should get into next. Maybe I'll do a court case. Maybe I'll take law school. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I'll commit tax fraud.